Well, hey guys, welcome back to the basement. This is actually my first video in quite a while because I have been on a hiatus. You didn't realize it because I pre-recorded a lot of stuff, but my first video back was just the video posted a couple of days ago where I did my very first vlog. So you can see some behind the scenes outside of the basement stuff there. But today we're here to talk about a product from Xactrail that just came in a few weeks ago. This is the HO Scale Trinity 6275 plug door box car. I know that is a mouthful, but I've got three different ones here. The price that they were at just a few weeks ago was $39.99. I think they're still at that on their website. So you can find them at exactrail.com or their exclusive retailer or one of their biggest retailers of trainlife.com. So let's take a look at what you get in these. We are going to do a different style review today, so you'll have to tell me if you like it or not in the comments section. Let's get started. Alright, here we have the box. There's a quick 360 of that. TTX Trinity 6275 box car on the side with the TTX logo, Xactro logo. A little information about Xactro on the back, including their address and that they're on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram. So as I unbox this, low, this piece of rolling stock, I'm going to go over some prototype details. So beginning in 2004, TTX Company began receiving Trinity Industries Incorporated 6275 cubic capacity plug door boxcars. With a fleet of over 600 Trinity built boxcars, and over 1,100 similar cars built from NSC and Gunderson. This car is everywhere and it is currently on the rails. Now, Xactrail's model features a lot of cool details we'll go over when we take a closer look. The first thing you'll notice is accurate fonts and colors. It's adorned with standoff detail, including Xactrail's separate door tracks. You can see here along the bottom. There are also door bars, a little hard to see in the contrast, but when I turn the model this way you can see them stand out slightly from the door. There are stainless steel crossover walks and wire form grab irons on the ends. Furthermore, the Trinity 6275 plug door boxcar features steel nailable flooring that is recreated and the narrow draft box with shank wedges, striker casting, and full nut and bolt detail. So looking at the underside there, you can see the flooring, see all of the brake detail, including air reservoir, air lines, got metal wheels, metal couplers, with magnetic glad hands and all of the printing seems to be clear and legible even the end printing so now I'm going to give you an uber close view of this I'm going to stop talking about parts it's one of the things that was requested actually but as I take a closer view there you can really see the door bar detail running up and down on each side. There's two door bars there. Now some people have commented that the TTX logo is not perfect. Xactro actually talks about this and says that it was haphazardly applied to the real cars. So. They have done the same thing on some of these Gunderson boxcars, recreating the real thing on the rails. Since this is a rolling stock review, which some of you have requested more of, I am going to take the time to show the MRA check on camera. This is the wheel sets, wheel flanges, and they are in compliance on this model. All right, so we're going to check coupler height. Seems a smidgen high on that end. Let your eyes be the judge.
This end appears to be dead on. So yeah, I don't know if that other side is high enough to even be concerned about. It just looks like a just a tiny fraction high, but it's your call. That's why I show it on camera. Okay, I'm gonna go over something that some people say is obsolete, but it's a good NMRA test, and that is the weight, which will tell you in ounces. Now this is 4.8 ounces. According to the NMRA, a six inch car should weigh four ounces, plus a half an ounce per inch of car over that. So what we're at here is an eight inch car approximately. So we should have about five ounces. We do have 4.7 ounces, so pretty close to the NMRA standard there. 135 grams, 0.135 kilograms, and about a third of a pound. Just want to Vanna White this real quick. This is a really nice reproduction of a car. I think it's called the Transition Scheme, where you've got the new TTX logo on one side and the old one on the other. So, I believe the actual prototypes out there, this might be the only one or one of a few, but very cool. This was a quick seller. And then you've got the original TTX scheme here. That's the original TTX scheme. Beautiful as well, but just a quick van of white of those. Well, with that said, I'm going to leave you with a run by of these cars. Overall impression, good price at $39.99 in the era of rolling stock that's getting kind of crazy in pricing. Not bad at all. Uh, very good and quick shipping from Exact Rail. Good quality product and much needed and much desired by modelers because they are selling through quickly. That's about all I've got to say. Leave you with a run by and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.